Because it's the spooky season, today I'm going to try a really easy edit with free stock images that you can use also and I'm sure that you're going to like the final result. Let's go! I found this background picture on DeviantArt, then I added some uh, levels to make everything darker, added this uh, noise filter which I'm going to show you it now because I'm going to use it a lot of time in this video. So uh, first thing you create a new layer, be sure that uh, the colors are like that, black on top, white on the bottom, fill it with black, then go to filter and here on the noise add noise, amount should be 400 and Gaussian and monochromatic hit ok, then go to filter and blur and again blur and set it to uh, lighten and opacity to uh, 10% and in my case because uh, it was too much noise I reduced the fill to around 30%. I'm using this noise filter to add realism to all the images that I'm going to use and I learned this from photo manipulation channel. Then I reduce uh, the saturation and I use solid color, this color and set it to color. Then from this picture I added a mask and I uh, masked the rest of the things that I didn't want to keep. So with the black color on the mask I uh, painted and kept only this left side. And then from this picture I really love the right area and I did the same, I have added a mask. And then with the black color I have painted outside the areas that I didn't want to keep. And then here on this left side I wanted a tree and I used uh, this uh, really cool tree. And then using channels I have selected a tree, be sure to check out my video about how to select objects. And because the tree didn't match the rest of the images I had to first add a Gaussian blur, so I added a 3 pixels Gaussian blur. And then I have double click on the image and on the color overlay I use this color and set the blend mode to color. Then with levels I made it uh, even darker, added that noise filter. And with exposure I have the increased the offset and gamma correction and now if I zoom out you'll see that the tree matches better the rest of the background. On top of them I have painted uh, some uh, fog and here I have added uh, this brighter area using color dodge. First of all you create a new layer and you fill it with black and set the blending mode to color dodge. Take the brush tool and with a white color in my case and the flow should be really really low just start to paint on the areas that you want to have that glow on and you will increase the glow on that area and then I created a new layer and set it to color and I selected by holding alt a blue color from the background and I started to paint on that area and now uh, I uh, get rid of all those uh, colors and I did that to have one single color tone on my sky. I added some birds, I have uh, darkened up everything using levels and with again vibrance, I decrease the vibrance and saturation and I have a more dramatic look on my image. Then I have added the moon on the left corner because uh, that's why I kept that area because I really love the clouds on that uh, corner and I have set the blending mode to soft light. And then I I need to get rid of uh, some parts of the moon so I added a mask, took the brush tool and with the black color I started to paint outside the areas that I wanted to hide. Then I went to filter and here on the Gaussian blur I had it a uh, 2 pixel Gaussian blur. Then with the same technique with color touch I have painted uh, on that corner with the moon with a white color to brighten up that area. Then in the center of my image I wanted to have a stand. So I found this really lovely picture with this rock, I have added a mask, after I place the rock on the center of my image I have added that noise filter, then I have darkened up everything using uh, levels and with uh, solid color adjustment layer this uh, color and uh, the layer set to color I made it uh, with a bluish tone and then I have added a shadow on the right side so I created a new layer and set it to multiply, then I selected a gray blue color from this picture and I started to paint on that area and decrease the fill. I searched a lot for a really great picture with the raven so I found this on Unsplash. Then I uh, selected uh, the raven, placed it uh, on top of those rocks and underneath by using the same technique I have painted some contact shadows on a layer set to multiply. The steps here were, were to decrease that uh, blue tone that uh, my uh, raven had and uh, made it uh, really desaturated, added a noise filter, added some shadows here on the clouds area, 
change the overall colors using uh, this color from solid color adjustment layer and set the blending mode to color dodge and then with an exposure i have painted uh, some highlights please watch my uh, video tutorial on how to add a highlights in exposure and on top i have painted uh, some more highlights using uh, linear dodge you create a new layer fill it with black and set the blending mode to linear dodge and then just double click on the layer hold alt and drag the right slider all the way to 100 and then you start to paint with a really bright color and send the flow to around five percent and then you start to paint on the sides of uh, the raven where the light to touch uh, his feathers and after a long long search i have found this perfect picture from elandria from deviant art website and uh, i added a mask and because on the original picture the hair was cut i mean it was uh, hidden underneath her uh, head i had to paint manually paint some hairs i changed the color of the hair using pure saturation i changed a bit the color of uh, the dress using hue and saturation then again the noise filter levels to make everything darker the highlights using exposure and with selective color i changed a bit the reds and neutrals and i set the blending mode to color then again on top of everything more highlights with exposure and at the end with the bluish uh, color i have painted more highlights and of course underneath her we needed a shadow so i did the same thing with the layer set to multiply i have painted with a dark color not black but a dark color here on this eye i painted some glow using a technique that i have used in many videos you should watch uh, the magic book tutorial i explained there step by step how to paint uh, this type of uh, magic and uh, on top of everything i have used again selective color where i have modified the neutrals and the layer set to color then i apply the camera row filter so press ctrl shift and i right click convert it to a smart object go to filter camera row filter you can use my settings or you can create your own settings if you are following this tutorial Thank you so much for watching this video, if you like my content don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support this channel more press that join button. See you next time.